welcome back I'm Kathy and today I have a fun recipe to try uh, I'm gonna try to turn potato chips into mashed potatoes so my buddy Mitch sent me a YouTube video from the channel Sam the cooking guy uh, and that's what he did he turned potato chips into mashed potato so you know First you think it's kind of crazy, but then you think, okay, well, there's instant potatoes, so maybe it's not so weird after all. The great thing about potato chips, you have all the different flavors. So I'm gonna try four different flavors. Of course, I need to try the original. Mitch requested that I try salt and vinegar. I think I would really like the sour cream and onion. And then I was thinking, okay, what other kind of chips this might work with? And then I thought Pringles, Pringles, and I have not had this scorching cheddar, so um, that should be interesting. I'm not sure if the Pringles are gonna cook down the way um, the potato chips did in his video, but we'll see. Super simple, all you need is a cup of water, three ounces of potato chips, and a quarter cup of half and half. So that's a little weird, but, um, but it does make sense, so we'll see how they taste. I'm gonna start with the original. In his video, he used a Lay's potato chips. I'm going cheap, and I'm going with the uh, Clancy chips from Aldi. Because Lay's chips aren't cheap, so if this doesn't work, I don't want to uh, be wasting a ton of money on it. And I like Aldi chips. Chips. What more? Peace. Let's see. Did they do it? No. All right, there we go. Three ounces. I'm gonna let this come to a, uh, a simmer. Doesn't need to fully boil, but just a just a simmer. Okay, so if it's ready, probably a little more than ready. Get all the chips in there. I guess you could break them up before, but get them all nice and soggy in the water. Ooh, yum, soggy chips. Good and soggy. So I just have to break down, get all mushy. Mushy, mushy, mushy. I really hope this works. He made it look so easy, but. This might be good to do with like, if you ever had stale potato chips, if you had some left, it might be good for this. Kind of looks like just lumpy mashed potatoes, maybe a little bit right now. Get down a little bit longer. All right, so now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of half and half. And make a mess, dipping it. Right. Try not to splash it. It kind of reminds me of uh, the look of it, of uh, cauliflower mashed potatoes, which I'm not a fan of. I see some lumps, I almost feel like I'm gonna break the next ones up. I'm gonna smash them. Like really um, watery mashed potatoes right now. It looks like oatmeal. I think it's ready. I don't know. His look kind of like this too. I'm just gonna turn this off and pour it in here. Well, I didn't need any salt, but I should have added some pepper. So. Do that and mix it up. Pepper. Okay, so I went ahead and stir in. It looks like it looks like lumpy oatmeal. Uh, he added some olive oil to his. I'm just gonna add a little butter to the top. All right, so who thinks this is gonna be good? It, it looks like oatmeal to me. You can see this oatmeal so mashed potatoes I'm gonna get that mashed potatoes in my head all right let's give it a try hmm interesting not doesn't taste like oatmeal um hmm I'm gonna try my I would know they were mashed potatoes for sure. I would just wonder um, what happened to them. But it's got 
a decent flavor. It reminds me of other like boxed. If you've ever had the um, Idahoan, whatever brand that is, Idahoan, no, is that right? <laughs> Sounds so wrong. Um, but that's what it reminds me of. Like, like the scalloped potatoes, you know, they're just like freeze dried potatoes. Um, that's kind of what it reminds me of. They're not bad. I mean, I'm not saying I would serve this at a party, um, but if you just wanted an individual serving of mashed potatoes, I knew to have any potatoes. This may hit the spot. So on to the, um, I'll do sour cream and onion next, but I think I'm gonna smash them. All right, I see some bubbles down there. I'm gonna go ahead and add it and see, I crushed them up. Maybe that'll make it a little smoother. Cream and onion, potato chips, mashed potatoes. Let's give them a try. Didn't add any pepper to these. We'll see if it needs it. I don't know if I was craving mashed potatoes, but I would say, oh, let's make this. But um, I don't think it's something all on its own. It's kind of like if you're craving a McDonald's hamburger. It's not that it's the best hamburger, it's just that. I don't know, it's the taste of the McDonald's hamburger that you want, not necessarily the best hamburger. I don't know if that makes sense. But that's how I feel about these potatoes. They're not the best, but I could see where you would like the flavor. I think I like these better than the, um, the plain ones. There's more flavor. Salt and vinegar should be interesting, so do that one next. And I'll brush these up a little finer. Salt and vinegar mashed potatoes. Um, this does seem smoother than the other two. I will see, it's still not super smooth, more like a, like a cream of wheat consistency versus a oatmeal. The vinegar flavor is definitely not as strong as it uh, was in the chips. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. So it's pretty good. Better than I was expecting, because I was expecting that vinegar taste to be pretty strong, but I mean, I do like salt and vinegar chips, but I was thinking of mashed potato. I don't know, but not bad. So on the video I watched Sam, he did do barbecue, but I was like, mm, I'm not sure about that. But you know, cheddar mashed potatoes are usually good, but why not the scorching and uh, the Pringles? So we'll see how these uh, cook down. Like I said, I've never tried a scorching cheddar Pringles, so. Some of you know how I feel about spicy food, like really spicy food, so I'm gonna try one first. <laughs> it just looks, that looks hot. My tongue is really hot. I do get the cheddar, get the hot cheddar. These should be interesting. But I, I would think that the water and the cream will probably cool it off some, so it's not gonna be as hot. As hot. We shall see. Okay, probably should've put them in a few minutes ago, but a few seconds ago. These are gonna be a fun color. Is that pretty? A little spicy, not too bad actually. I mean, the heat's already gone away. My mouth is no longer hot. Look at this water. Ah. Get in there. <laughs> Look at the color. So you can see it better, and it's hot. 
So this did cook faster. Uh, the, it was the Pringles, so it did cook faster, which I thought it would, because aren't Pringles just it's start with instant potatoes? I don't know. I don't know how they're made, but. All right, let's try it. I was worried about that because there is a, um, a corn flour in here and a rice flour. Oh. <clears throat> no, no, no. Pringles. Eh. So if you're thinking about Pringles, don't do it. So overall, I do think it was a success. Well, minus the Pringles, but as far as the potato chips go, I could see a cheddar potato chip being good. I don't think you're going to fool anyone that these are like really mashed potatoes. Um, I would think it was an instant mashed potato. That's what it that's what it tastes like to me. But they're good. Um, not the cheapest way to make mashed potatoes, but you have stale potato chips in the um, in the pantry and you want something to do with them, I think this would work. If you like instant potatoes. And it's fun to try, you know. Will I ever make these again? Probably not. But as crazy as it sounded in the beginning, not so crazy really. But um, yeah, if you like instant mashed potatoes, then you should give them a try. Um, I would try some cheddar. Maybe barbecue would have been good. I should have got barbecue, but um, just stay away from the Pringles. That was that was my bad. Um, but the other ones, sour cream and onion. So my favorite, sour cream and onion, salt and vinegar, and then the uh, the plain. The plain might have been good if you would have added some cheddar to the top or something like that, or bacon, or maybe get bacon cheddar chips. There you go. You don't have to add anything else to it. There you go. So have you ever tried? making mashed potatoes out of potato chips. Uh, and if you have, what flavor did you use? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about hitting that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye.